All right, we're good. So this is going to be called um, 10 Questions with Dewey Winnell of, uh, of America. It's uh, okay, going to appear... It's going to be uh, appearing on Beat Magazine. It's going to be short and sweet. I don't like these long, drawn-out interviews, so... I appreciate that. Either. Right? <laughs> this works for me. All right, so we'll start. Um, what uh, what music or musician inspired you to be an artist? Oh, well, that's good. Well, when I was young, of course, I was in the 50s. When I was a little kid, my parents would play, you know, Elvis and Bill Haley and... Uh, then the Everly Brothers, I remember, those were the early years, but I think once I picked up the guitar in the early 60s, I probably would have to say immediately the Beach Boys and uh, surf music, instrumental music. Then I quickly got inspired by the Beatles, like everyone, I suppose, and um, the singer-songwriters of the 60s. But, you know, if I had to pick one, one band, I'd probably say that Cool. Actually, the Beatles is a very popular answer to this question, let me tell you. <laughs> I bet, yeah. yes. Okay, um, uh, when did the, uh, the band America uh, or originate? Technically, we started as the band America in 1970. We, we were a band uh, in high school in London, England, that we went to an American school in England. My father was in the Air Force, so we had this high school band, and that sort of, we graduated in 1969. And we started writing our own material. So America was sort of born in 1970. Cool. Um, are you guys planning any tours outside the, uh, the the United States? Well, already this year we we did a tour of New Zealand and a tour of Italy. We've been in Italy, and late last year we were in the Philippines. So we do travel a lot in other countries, Australia. Central America, France, uh, so, but right now there's nothing specifically for the, we're pretty much winding out the end of our year now, and there, there's some work already booked for 2014, but we'll see what happens. The agency takes care of that, William Morris Agency. Is, uh, is there any band in particular that you would just like love to tour with? Yeah, there's lots of bands we always have enjoyed. We've been fortunate to tour with a lot of great bands. Um, you know, Chicago and the Beach Boys themselves and bands like that. We think the, the classic rock acts. But I love lots of bands. There's nobody specific. I mean, I like Tom Petty and uh, I like Wilco and, um, you know, all the bands, all the singer-songwriters that we've always loved. We've been fortunate. We, we just played a show with the Doobie Brothers recently and we, we worked with Three Dog Night and bands like that. Um, so, you know, it'd be yeah. nice to go on, on our team. We don't do full tours with bands so much. The New, the New Zealand tour, we worked with Pat Benatar and Bachman Turner. Uh, mm. So it was three bands down there for that tour. So it just it just depends, you know. We we really uh, like a lot of these artists and uh, it's been fun working with Chicago and the Beach Boys over the years. We like to work with them. We may do some more work with the Beach Boys in the new year. Cool. Um, what would you say would would be the most funniest or embarrassing moment on that you had on stage? <laughs> embarrassing moment on stage. Wow. Uh, that's difficult. I mean, we've had times when the equipment failed. Uh, in fact, the two, one of the shows in Italy recently, it was a big arena and all the lights went down and all its gear went off. Uh, it was because they, they were being powered on generators and the generators apparently literally ran out of gas. So that's kind of embarrassing. Um, you know, we yeah, haven't had any terrible yeah. things happen on stage where uh, gear broke us. So I'd have to say that. Sometimes it's, uh, I had a, a couple summers ago where my voice was completely gone. I lost my voice. We were in Las Vegas and I'd been to a doctor and I got some steroids and things and I I thought I could hear my voice backstage. I thought at least I could get through this. We changed the songs around. And I don't know, the last minute when I got on stage, I had no voice at all. So we did the whole show pretty much with Jerry singing my parts and everything. That's um, that's a bit embarrassing. Well, it's not as bad. Let me tell you, I just had a recent interview, and the gentleman told me that his most embarrassing moment was that he bought these uh, really tight black satin pants, and when he was, dan <laughs> when he was dancing and stuff, 
uh, up in stage. They just ripped apart, and he had no underwear on. <laughs> Well, that's embarrassing. Right? No, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that, makes, that makes mine sound like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see where we're Okay. Um, do you guys have any new albums or projects in the works? Right now, the album that we're promoting is, uh, is last year's version. It's, it's called Back Pages, which was essentially a ba uh, band that they, we've been around 43 years now. We did a, an album of cover songs, you know, other artists that we love, writers, Bob Dylan, James Taylor. Jimmy Webb, people like that, Joni Mitchell. So we are considering and discussing right now a volume two of that. Um, but there's no specific project in mind right this minute. We're just going to uh, see how the new year unfolds. Okay, cool. Um, other than your current band members, is there anyone past or present that you would just love to get on stage and jam with? Oh, man, yeah. Well, I always love to jam bands. Um, um, uh, you know, the Allman Brothers, the Grateful Dead, some of those kind of bands were terrific. Uh, Santana. Actually, we got to get on with Santana one time years ago, so I got to play congas with Carlos playing. Oh, cool. But, uh, you know, I, I think, I, to be very honest with you, Isaac, I am traditionally very much just a, a member of this band, America, and I feel most comfortable with our songs and our guys. So I'm not the greatest jammer to begin with, okay. but I'd certainly love to join people, and we have. We've gotten on stage with bands and sang the encores and things uh, along with those bands, and that's always fun. But um, mm. I love all those bands that uh, you know that do extended jams, and right. I, I love blues bands. Yeah, I'd like to get up with a blues player, you know, a buddy guy or or a BB King or something. That would be great because uh, I can play the. Cool. The 12 bar blues riffs a little bit, so that'd be fun. All right. Um, do you have a favorite uh, city or venue that you just uh, love to play in? Well, we've always, as far as touring, we've always loved Italy for some reason. We like the people and the, and the venues. Um, outdoor shows are, are, are pretty nice. Um, a specific venue, there's some venues that we do go back every single year and they become second homes. There's a place in San Diego. Well, Humphreys we play every year. There's a big casino in Connecticut called the Mohegan Sun, and we've literally played those places over 20 times, so we feel comfortable in those places. Um, and a nice theater or performing arts center is the perfect place for us. We have some video that we present behind some of the songs, and the sound is always good in those venues, and virtually all the big cities have a performing arts center. And so those Casinos are great, and um, we're looking forward to Miami, by the way. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is your second time this year. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. I would love to have you. Well, I, I saw that. I, I was there in the first one. I, I actually want to be there tomorrow also. Um, oh, good. Yeah, well, well, yeah, we're going to be doing, actually, I'm going to be shooting the uh, the meet and greet for the casino, and I'm also going to be taking the um, the pictures for the um, of, oh. of the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, great. Then I'll, I'll meet you there. Yeah, absolutely. I, I have the gentleman's email. Um uh, the one that, that set this Rich, up? Rich Campbell. Richard, Rich, Rich Campbell. yes, Richard. Yeah. So, uh, Rich one... is that, you know, just so you know, Rich is actually a bass player and high harmony singer, too. He's, oh, really? He's, rec he's recently took an on, taken on a job with road manager, too, so oh. he's he's got a full plate, Rich, okay. but he's a great guy. All right, well, I want to send, um, does I have his email, when I uh, shoot the show, there's a link to the photos, and I'm going to send it uh, to him. Okay. So if okay. any of the photos good. interest you, you guys can just uh, download them. That would be great, thank you. Okay. Um, the other question is, out of all your songs, do you have a favorite that you just love to play? Oh, well, I usually say Ventura Highway of the big hits. Of all the big hits for me, Ventura Highway um, sort of stays young at heart and has that nice uh, free wind blowing through your hair. So if I had to pick one song, I'd, I've always been picking that. But of course, your sister Golden Hair, Horse of No Name, all the big hits are very important yeah. to us. And then I have a lot of my personal favorites that I'd written on albums and things, a song called Sleep for Train or Walk in the Woods, uh, a lot of songs that people aren't that familiar with, but as far as the hits, Ventura Highway. Okay, cool. And uh, the last question, have you heard of the uh, the Rock Legends cruise? Yes, I have. Is... I'm not much of a cruiser guy, I can't do boats that well, uh, So, but I have heard of them and some of uh, our friends have done them. Is have that... you been on one? 
Yes, actually, yeah, I've been on both of them. They're really, they're really good. I, I love it. Uh, but is that something that would interest you guys if contacted, or no? Because you said you don't like. Um, cruises. You know, we've we've discussed this before. I'm not very good on the on the on the cruise boats. We've done a few before. We did a cruise boat out of Singapore, and um, I'm just not good on boats, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. All right. Quick and simple, right? Pardon? Quick and simple. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah, All right. We gotta drive now up to Fort Pierce anyway, so uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, do it. It's a pleasure, sir. I'll, I'll see you. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, goodbye. Bye.